is the code with HelpMamaRemote.com and I will be sharing a three-part series of my binders. So, I have my home management binder, I have the kids' school binder, and I have our financial binder. Okay, so what I have are, I have my three binders and this little caddy here, it's like a foul caddy. I got it from 31, bought it from 31. Mm -hmm. And um, I use the Better Binder. I've done a video before, just briefly um, talking about it. At first I start, started off with the Martha Stewart binders. However, they I didn't like the durability of them for binders that I need to go in often. They're good, you know, if you don't have to use the binder very often, but if you're gonna go into a binder often, um, I believe these are much more durable. And like I said, these are the better binders. They're from Staples. And um, since they aren't like, if we're, you know, those of us that are into cute, cute, um, what I did, I did jazz them up with some card stock. Um, I did each of the binders. So the first binder I'm going to start with is the school binder. And the reason I'm starting with this because um, it's time for back to school. And this is the binder that I use to keep all of my kids' um, things that they bring home from school. Not their homework assignments and things like that. However, maybe a note from school, the school handbook, um, maybe even a physical form, you know, physical forms and stuff like that. I keep them in here so if I need it, I know exactly where it is. I will also keep their schedule in here, but I also keep their schedule in my planner. So I will have two. So... Like, as of now, I have their, um, the back to school supply list in here. This is the supply list. I have physical forms in here. And I just keep them because you never know when you may need a physical form. You take the kids to the doctor and then come to find out you need a physical form. Then you have to either send the doctor the form or go back to the doctor. So I always keep extra physical forms. And I also have pocket um, folders for each of my children. So I have three pocket folders here and they're for each of the kids. And like I say, whenever I get something, I put it in here. So this is my son, my youngest daughter, and this is my oldest daughter right here. Also, these are all the report cards from last year. I just stuck them here in the back, um, just in case I want to access them. But otherwise, eventually they'll probably they'll get filed away. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I keep of my kids' school items. I do not keep homework, and forgive me, but the cute little art pictures. Um, I just don't. So, like I say, this is their school binder, and I think it's really accessible. At one while, I was keeping um, the school, some of the school papers in my home management binder, but it was overwhelming. So, I thought it would be good to keep them right here. All right, so that is the end of my first video, the school binder. Um, I'll be back with the next video on my home management binder. Thanks for watching.